Now you can't trade him. You can't. There's no way. Back to me sometime. Uh, but I, uh, I digress. 8030550 is the phone number. Let's go to Jonathan. Jonathan, you're on the nightcap. What's up? Hey, Joe. Um, the Sabres really need a lot to go right for them to play off. I mean, I think it's doable, but realistically, I'm expecting to be like mid 80s, lower, upper 80s, lower 90s. But they finished uh, worse than they did. I think they finished worse than they did last year, like lower 70s, 60s. Then I think Jason Byrles are fired. I mean, probably wants to give him the, some time because he hired a new coach. I really want to see what he has in Ralph Krueger. But uh, if this season goes haywire, I think Byrles in trouble. All right, Jonathan, thanks for the call. I, uh, I think I agree. He's, he's got to be next in line. And um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Just saw a tweet. I don't even know if I should share it. Should I share it? If I share it, we're going to get away with hockey. I'll, I'll, I'll say it at the, at the end of the segment. Stay tuned for that. Um, no, I think I agree. I think if he doesn't show some urgency, if he doesn't make some trades that have some urgency, if we're still lying and survives the year and things haven't changed, then there's just too much inactivity. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like Darcy Regeer. It's going to feel like too much inactivity. Tim Murray maybe was too much activity. Uh, Regeer was maybe not enough. And I think you would hope Bottrell falls somewhere in between. Um, but there really hasn't been a whole lot. Maybe that's trading, I don't know, Tage Thompson to find someone that's going to help you right now. What does Thompson risk the line and get back for me? Like you got to find a way to solve their center problem. Because I can't see this team being good without it. And if this team's not good, then I think the GM's in trouble. What type of season do they really need to have, though, for him to stay? That's what I wonder. I don't think it's playoffs or bust for him. I don't think that he gets fired if they just miss. Um, but another bad season, like bottom five, maybe even bottom ten, and you're more than double digits out of playoffs, then we need to have a serious... I think the owner needs to have a serious conversation. The ownership group needs to have a serious conversation about who their general manager is. It's, you get three years, and like that, it's not a super long time in hockey when it comes to the draft picks and your draft success, but it is a long time in terms of trades you make and your plan for the roster. Like, things should start coming together in your third year. And for this guy, it did in year four or two, um, and I, there's not a whole lot of reason to believe it will in year three. There's some reason to believe it, but... It's not on the ground. Like they're, I think they're on thin ice. Then you have to wonder what happens with Ralph Kruger. I think about Ralph Kruger a lot for this. I really do. I wonder, and maybe this is stupid to say, but I wonder if Kruger, and I don't know this at all, if he took this job. And by the way, before I even say this, there's a report from, I think, Bob McKenzie uh, back in the summer before Kruger, I think, even leaves Southampton, let alone takes a job with the Sabres, that he would want to return to hockey, but he wants to do it in administrative administrative role, like he did in soccer. He wants to be in charge of an organization, whether that be president of hockey ops or GM or something like that, something in the front office. And he might be thinking, or if he's not, maybe if things did go horribly wrong and Bottrell didn't, wasn't able to keep his job, then they bumped Kruger upstairs? I don't know. I don't think he necessarily, what I'm saying is I don't think that Kruger would necessarily have to go if the GM did. he stay on his coach, but maybe a G that, that would cause problems because your GM would want his own guy. And then you're going to have to be looking for another coach. Maybe that's a reason not to at all. Maybe them letting Kruger <coughs> or letting Bottrell hire Kruger is a sign that it's not, there's no way he gets fired after this year. I think that's possible. I think it's maybe likely that he would be gone if they're just really bad again. But maybe he doesn't have to. Maybe them letting him hire Kruger is a sign of that. But the question you have then is who goes? Who pays for a really bad season? And I don't want it to be Sam Reinhardt. And I think fans don't want it to be Sam Reinhardt. He's good. He's legitimately good. And there's no one else that's really important on this team right now that you can trade. So, all of this gets fixed if they're good. All of it gets fixed if they're good. But, how likely is that to happen? There's a chance, but I'm not holding my hat on it. They would really need this defense core to look really good. Like, really good. That's the only 